And welcome back to the Ask Dr. Mather Show alongside Dr. Brian Mather. I'm Dave Erickson. Uh, a lot of us as athletes uh, experience certain ailments, but there's different age ranges for all of us. What do you see typically between the ages of 20 and 30, 30 to 40, and 40 above walking through your door, starting with a 20 to 30 year old range? I think for the 20 to 30 year old range, probably the most common thing we see is sacroiliac uh, joint dysfunction, um, where the pelvis gets locked into place and it causes a, a, a slew of other issues in the lower extremities. Um, in that age range, you also will see a lot of your overuse injuries, uh, tendonitis, um, things like that. Uh, and of course, I guess the other f uh, fair answer to that question is you'll see more severe injuries. Uh, the younger age groups have a tendency to push a little harder, so you'll see more bike crashes or you'll see potentially more fractures, more, more bigger injuries. Um, just due to the fact that they're probably pushing themselves a little harder. And then as you start to age and you get into that 30 to 40 range, uh, now we are a little bit more at risk for disc herniation. Uh, that seems to be a, a common um, period of time where maybe we're not recovering quite as much as, as we should. We're, we're aging. Our bodies, uh, our, our, our tissues are not as resilient, but we're still pushing pretty hard as athletes. Um, and, and then you'll start to get more of the overuse stuff. So IT band issues, uh, uh, Achilles tendonitis, plantar fasciitis. So a lot of the different tendons and ligaments start to get overloaded. Um, and we keep training through those and create aches and pains. And then from 40 on up, uh, you're going to start to get degeneration. So you're going to start to see arthritic degeneration that starts to happen from usually the previous 20 plus years of your life training uh, runners have been pounding on their knees and their hips and their lower back. So you start to see more of the degenerative uh, issues that come along uh, with aging as well as uh, the degenerative changes start to cause more mechanical problems, which in turn cause more muscular tendon problems. So there needs to be more recovery time. Um, maybe around 40, you're starting to see athletes that are kind of starting to buy into this concept of I need a little bit more recovery. Uh, quite a few of them still haven't adopted that uh, plan of adding more recovery into their, their tr uh, training. But at least they're talking about it and they're, they're sort of joking about how they know they need to, but they still haven't done it. Uh, and then as they push into their deeper into their 40s, they start to realize that in order for them to continue to compete and to train, they have to have better recovery, they have to have better nutrition, they have to have better training protocols. So if they want to continue to train at a high level and keep their body functioning for them, they learn they have to spend a lot more time taking care of their body. Uh, when we're 20, we don't generally do a great job at taking care of our body. Uh, when we're in our mid 40s or 50s, we learn we are forced to do that. So we start to pay attention a lot better. As we go over 40, there's a lot more warming up and stretching involved. Yes. Uh, as a chiropractor and in, in your sports injury clinic there, what is that some of the protocol that you would put someone through to get back where they were beforehand? Um, we want to take a look uh, at the whole body. So we don't always necessarily just look at the area of pain. So for example, someone might come in and they may have uh, knee pain. Um, we're not just going to focus on the knee. In fact, probably over half of our cases, uh, the pain is not or the problem is not where the pain is at. The pain is showing up somewhere due to compensation somewhere else in the body. And so we've got to figure out what's the root cause of that knee pain and then try to address that. And we try to take a three-pronged approach. So we look at the joint mechanics, making sure that, uh, that everything is functioning in the joint level the way that it's supposed to. And we've got proper motion at the joints. Then we're going to take a look at the soft tissues, and if you've developed any scar tissue or fibrosis from overuse, that we're breaking that tissue down and getting it to function correctly. And then we're going to throw a rehab in on top of that. We need to retrain these joints and muscles to do their job correctly at the time they're supposed to do it. That really gives our athletes uh, an optimal health so they can continue to train and push uh, as they age because their body's breaking down faster. So we've got to make sure that we're keeping uh, the, the surrounding tissue functional uh, and doing its job the way that it's supposed to. Dr. Mather, great topics. Uh, where can people learn more about your services and uh, what you have to offer? Well, they can get on our website at uh, Spokane Cairo or SpokaneSportsCairo.com. Uh, they can also call the office at 509-465-8400. Uh, they can send me an email. Uh, they can get on our website and get email addresses that way as well. I'm always happy to come out and do talks. Uh, and if, if a group wants me to come out and talk to, to their training group about different uh, topics, I'm more than happy to do that. 
Um, we work a lot in the community, especially in North Spokane, uh, but all over Spokane. Um, I'm the, Sp I'm the uh, team chiropractor for the Spokane Chiefs, so I've been in organized athletics uh, as a team uh, physician for a lot of years, and we work with a lot of athletes, um, from youth athletes all the way up uh, to, uh, to geriatric athletes. Um, so we're available uh, to answer questions or to help in any way that we can. And if you're watching now and you have a question for Dr. Mather, use the hashtag Ask Dr. Mather on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, and we'll do our best to answer them. All right, Dr. Mather, thanks very much. Thank you, Dave.